In this video, we will be discussing about tetracyclines. I will be discussing in such a way that how you should present this in your exam paper. So let's start from the introduction, how we will write the intro. The tetracycline, see the name tetracycline. Tetra means four. That means it has four cyclic ring in their structure. It has four cyclic ring in their structure. And the one more point is, it is a protein synthesis inhibitor. It is a protein synthesis inhibitor. That is, it is actually the mechanism of action, how this is acting, by how, how this is acting. It is by inhibiting the protein synthesis. It is a protein synthesis inhibitor. Since it is a protein synthesis inhibitor, it is bacteriostatic. All the protein synthesis inhibitors are bacteriostatic in nature. We know there are bacteriostatic drugs as well as bactericidal drugs. Drugs. These are bacteriostatic drugs. So it's about definition. Next, let's see what's the mechanism of action. Second heading is mechanism of action. We know the, the tetracycline. It is uh, once it is taken up by the susceptible bacteria. First one, this drug is taken up. This drug is taken up by the susceptible bacteria susceptible bacteria what happened once the bacteria taken this drug then this bind to the bind to the ribosomal subunit it bind to the bind reversibly 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 to 30s subunit of the ribosome we know subunit we know this is a Proteins in the same inhibitor. So in bacteria, the ribosome um, synthesizes the protein, right? So, so uh, it in it act by inhibiting the rib ribosome protein synthesis. So it binds reversibly to the 30s ribosomal subunit. Thereby, it prevent the binding of amino acyl amino acyl tRNA tRNA to mRNA mRNA ribosomal complex so it prevent it prevent it prevent the binding of it prevent the binding of amino acyl tRNA to mRNA ribosomal complex so what happened then it prevent the binding then by preventing the binding it prevent the addition of prevent it prevent it prevent the addition of it prevent the addition of what amino acid amino acid to the growing peptide chain amino acid to the growing peptide chain we know the proteins are made up of the simplest unit of proteins are amino acids so once the addition of the amino acid to the growing peptide chain is inhibited the protein is not synthesized right hence it is inhibiting bacterial protein synthesis thereby it inhibit by preventing the addition of amino acid it inhibit inhibit protein synthesis thereby it give bacteriostatic effect bacteriostatic effect it is about the mechanism next let's see the spectrum of activity of this antibiotic this antibiotic is active against gram positive bacteria it is active against gram negative bacteria there are some exceptions except it is not active against that is the exception here is pseudomonas first one is pseudomonas then next one is providen providentia next one is oh, providentia Providentia. Then the third one is Proteus. Proteus. Three, three bacteria starting with P. So, other than these three, to all other gram-negative bacteria, the tetracycline is active. Then it's also not active against. Uh, no, it's active against anaerobes. 
it's active against anaerob so it's active against gram positive bacteria gram negative bacteria except pseudomonas providentia and proteus it's active against anaerobes it's about the spectrum next let's see uh, about the bacterial resistance bacterial resistance how the bacteria get resistance against this antibiotic against this tetracycline first one if there is a decreased influx of the drug decreased influx that is that means the decreased entry of this tetracycline into the bacteria it is the first thing that leads to the resistance second one if there is an increased efflux efflux of the tetracycline then the third one if there is a inactivation of drug by the enzyme inactivation that means there are so many enzymes produced by the bacteria so there is inactivation of enzymes uh, i mean sorry inactivation of drug inactivation of drug inactivation of drug by the enzymes produced by the bacteria by the enzymes these are the Uh, factors that leads to the resistance towards this next let's see what are the drugs belongs to this uh, tetracycline category the first one you should remember at least the names of some of these drugs first one chlor tetracycline chlor tetracycline okay here spelling mistakes tetracycline okay chlor tetracycline and the other thing is oxy tetracycline oxy tetra cyclin then another thing demiclocycline demiclo demiclo cycline next one is methacycline methacycline these are oral drugs these are the uh, route of administration is oral then there are doxycycline which is an important one doxycycline doxycycline as well as minocycline minocycline these are the drugs we can give by oral route iv route as well as topical formulation is also available topical formulation is also available okay these are the drugs then let's let's move on to the what are the side effects of the tetracycline or the adverse effect adverse effect okay adverse effect the first one is a uh, gastrointestinal disturbances gastro intestinal disturbances in that you can write nausea then uh, epigastric distress epigastric distress and you can write uh, diarrhea abdominal discomfort and all vomiting okay so the second one first one is gastric disturbance and the second one is phototoxicity second side effect is phototoxicity phototoxicity it is seen with the doxycycline and demiclocycline seen with doxycycline as well as demiclocycline cycline okay cycline so uh, what will be the effect it produce sun burn like reaction sun burn like reaction it produce and it produce a uh, pigmentation of nails it produce sunburn like reaction in the skin on exposure to the sunlight as well as it produce pigmentation on the nail it produce pigmentation on nail pigmentation shin of nail pigmentation of nails okay our first adverse effect was a gastrointestinal disturbance second one was phototoxicity the third disturbance of third adverse effect of tetracycline is hepatotoxicity 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 in that the high dose of the high dose iv 
it can cause the acute hepatic necrosis with the fatty changes and it is common in the pregnant woman the high dose iv the high dose iv administration of this drug can leads to acute acute hepatic necrosis with the fatty change it is common in pregnant pregnant woman it is common in pregnant woman the side effect is common in pregnant women and the fourth adverse effect is the renal toxicity the fourth one is renal toxicity first was gastrointestinal disturbance second one was the phototoxicity third one hepatotoxicity then fourth one comes the renal toxicity the renal toxicity the demyclocycline may produce nephrogenic diabetic insipidus okay what demyclocycline demyclocycline it can produce it may produce uh, nephrogenic nephrogenic diabetic diabetic insipidus okay how this happen it happens by blocking the action of adh on the by blocking the action of adh on collecting duct since it block the action of adh it is it has this uh, has one side effect uh, has i'm uh, sorry not side effect it has one use because of this blocking effect it is this side effect of demyclocycline is used in patients with the syndrome of inappropriate secretion of adh so it is used in it is used in syndrome of syndrome of inappropriate inappropriate appropriate secretion of adh in this syndrome we can use uh, even if the side effect of this demyclocycline is useful because it inhibit the uh, action of adh on the collecting duct so the another thing is super infection other adverse effect is super infection because of the use of this tetracycline may lead to the super infection that means because of the incomplete absorption due to the incomplete absorption of this drug from the duct uh, from the gut due to the in incomplete absorption of this drug there is alteration of gut flora alteration of gut flora we know our gut consisting of many common cell flora which are uh basically not harmful but once the normal their equilibrium is disturbed it can cause diseases so because of the use of this drug there is a alteration of drug flora which can cause the super infection super infection super infection with uh, organisms with organisms like uh, uh, candida candida then Uh, proteus proteus then pseudomonas pseudomonas and clostridium difficile clostridium difficile we know because of the clostridium difficile it can lead to the pseudomembranous colitis pseudo membranous colitis okay and uh, which is characterized by the pseudomembranous colitis is characterized by diarrhea diarrhea fever okay diarrhea fever abdominal pain stool mixed with the blood and mucus and we can treat the pseudomembranous colitis with the oral metronidazole oral metronidazole okay so we are telling about the fifth adverse effect of the tetracycline that is a super side effect is uh, the effect on the bones and teeth sixth side effect is the effect on bones and teeth okay how it act the tetracycline has calcium chelating property by the calcium chelating property the tetracycline calcium orthophosphate complex is formed it has calcium it has calcium chelating property chelating property by this property by this property tetracycline calcium orthophosphate complex is formed tetracycline 
கால்சியம் ஓர்தோ ஃபோஸ்ஃபேட் ஓர்தோ ஃபோஸ்ஃபேட் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் இஸ் ஃபார்ம்ட் ஸோ வாட் வில் ஹேப்பன் பை திஸ் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் திஸ் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் கெட் டெபாசிட்டட் இன் தி க்ரோவிங் போன் அண்ட் டீத் இட் கெட் டெபாசிட்டட் get de- deposited in growing bone and teeth and so in children and in pregnancy the permanent brown is di- discoloration permanent brownish discoloration will be present discoloration discoloration so the permanent brown is discoloration of deciduous teeth due to the deposition of this gelatin teeth and it affect the linear linear growth of bones it affect it affect the linear linear growth of bones growth of bones and so it is contraindicated in pregnancy and children up to 8 years of age and the another side effect the seventh side effect of tetracycline is increased increased intra intracranial pressure increased intracranial pressure and the eighth side effect is hyposensitivity reactions it can cause hypersensitivity reactions hypersensitivity reactions like skin rashes fever exfoliative dermatitis etc and the cross sensitivity is also common cross sensitivity cross sensitivity reaction is also common this is about the adverse effect of this drug so in this video we discussed about uh, the introductory part mechanism of action spectrum of activity the reasons for the b- bacterial resistance the drugs belongs to this category as well as side effects the uses we will discuss in the next video as well as some mcqs related to this topics will we will be discussing in the next video thank you